Welcome to Confidence with Kathleen, hosted by me, Kathleen Bigel. Hi everyone, welcome again to Confidence with Kathleen. Uh, the other episode I was, uh, I talk a lot about uh, let the horse uh, talk about what, you know, they explain me things. Today what I want to do, it's really explain you how your emotion, how your energy can affect them because and, and how they understand you. Uh, a lot of people really ask me, like I, I already said, ask me, can you show us how you communicate with horses, how you do it? And really, I, I can, you know, for me, it's, I really don't know, it's hard to explain, it's there and it's natural for me. So it's more hard to explain, to show. But uh, what I can explain you more, it's how to connect with horses, um, how to connect with them, like the way that they understand you. So uh, it's really about, we think that we just can go there and brush them and pet them and things like that, you will have that connection. And that's true, more you have time with them, more you will create that relationship, that connection with them. But what I'm feeling on horses, they are animals that they adapt very easily. What I mean by that, it's like, okay, um, if you have a bad day, okay, if you have a bad day, your horse, you will arrive, your horse wants the best for you, want to connect with you, but it feels you that way, it feels you like you have a bad day, so it's like, mm, is will react, is more adapted. So when I say adapt, just imagine like a herd of horses, like wild horses, they are all outside they are all together and then there's one that got wild <laughs> got crazy about something and they all move together they all follow the the stress one or they 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 get uh, they adapt themselves they, their reaction about that energy of that horse uh, of that is reaction so and, and with them, when you are in connection with them, that's, you're part of their group. So <laughs> if you change or if you have a different attitude or a different energy, they adapt to, your, to yourself. So, um, and, I, and I really have some when I'm talking with them, you know, that I, I already say that, that the horse said, oh my God, she's with me, but she's not there. So, or you are, uh, because you are on the phone or you're talking to someone else or whatever, but the feels, or sometimes you just in your head and you are not happy, you are more worried about something and we get some days that they are not going well in our lives or different situation, but the horse, that's what they feel. So for example, if you have a friend that uh, had a situation that has a, a bad energy or sad or she's sad or feeling angry or whatever and she tell you uh, and talk about it and you want to be there for her, you listen to her, she's going back and she stay in that energy, eventually you will start feeling that energy, you will start feeling those emotions too and it will a little bit you will change or you, it will aggravate you. So it's the same with your horse. So more you go to, you go to the barn and you have those kind of emotion, at the start they, they will like listen to you, but they adapt to you. So if you are always stressed or worry or things like that, the horse will adapt to your energy. So if they start doing something different or they start to hack crazy, look, think about how was your energy, how was your emotion, because they, a lot of time, they adapt to who you are, they adapt to your energy. 
and a lot of the time they really feel more than what we want them to feel. Um, I always say to you cannot lie to your horse. You, your horse connect really in your belly, directly in your true self. So they really feel it, and sometimes they are, and because they are animals that they adapt well, but they, anim they are animals too that they are very sensitive of everything around them. So in the same time, you know, when you have that bad day or <laughs> you want to go see your horse and you don't want to share them your emotion, don't forget that the horse are there for you too. What you can do is really be there, feel like you're honest, and you can ask them to help you. You know, you can connect to their energy, their free, <laughs> you know, their liberty, their happiness, and ask them to connect on that, but very be open mind and connect on their energy. The horse are there for you too, and they can help you to change your mind. Uh, I'm feeling a lot of people really forget about it. They always think, okay, what can I do for my horse? Uh, who can I... Can I be, what can I do to be the best rider? Oh, I want to feel my, my horse feel well and everything. But <laughs> don't forget that your horse wants the same thing for you to <laughs> enjoy life, have fun, uh, be a team, connect with them. So if you have that bad day, why not asking your horse to help you to go through that and give you those ener their, their energy, that, that good energy of life. Uh, another thing too that the horse really makes me feel, um, it's sometimes, you know, they adapt to you, yes. But uh, sometimes, you know, uh, when you train your horse, you have big goal and whatever, and especially with young horses, or even on, on a older one too, but more on the young one and because you are on a clock time you know you want to do that and go there and do your program and do things and make them like fitness wise you want to show them things but sometimes I'm really feeling that people forget to look at their horse connect with their horse because when it's too much for them when uh, they are not happy. Yes, they can have like pain and things like that. That can make uh, make them not work perfectly or having more pain or pain to do their job. But in the same time, sometimes it's like it's too much for them to take. So really, more you are connect with your horse, more you can feel those moments. You can feel that when it's too much for my horse, sometimes they just need to go walk, relax, <laughs> do something else, and then come back. Uh, more you can feel them, and the more they will adapt to you too, but more you can adapt to them. So it's, it will be a win-win for both of you. Uh, I can give you that example to have uh, someone uh, that uh, called me for uh, communication and uh, because she was like, I don't understand my horse. He was very like more aggressive, didn't want to work and, and doing things and it was not in his character. But uh, that rider, she was a little bit, she was feeling that he was behind and he won't be ready for going to the futurity and going uh, for the competition so she wants to show him like almost everything at the time <laughs> but that horse need to learn need to process thing and go like step by step and because she was showing him too many things he was like confused was more aggressive and didn't even didn't want to work <laughs> it didn't went well because of that so that's why she called me <laughs> and when I explained her that she really like oh yeah 
that's true. So she changed her things. She keep it more simple and she went back and step by step. And I really hope I will see her running very soon because I'm feeling they are pretty ready now, but now it's her that she's backing up a little bit. I need to push her now, but one day, one day we will see that run finally. <laughs> but you see, it's because just at the start, I'm not saying don't have goal, don't don't want to have dream. That's fine, but and but sometimes your horse need a little bit more time. So your time, it's not always their time. And some horses, it's the opposite. They are tired of doing the same thing. And so they want to learn more. They want to do more, but they don't feel like the, the, the rider push them. So they get bored, they got tired. And then there's other things that arrive. But I'm really feeling that when you stay connect with your horse, when you feel something, don't put a doubt in it, you know? Uh, listen to them because they have their time, they have their emotion, and a lot of time too, they try to, uh, they try to adapt to you. So, but it's not because you are very, very fast that they can follow you necessarily. <laughs> Sometimes it's too much for them. But <laughs> you have to slow down and then they can catch up and you will be on the same page. Another way to that the horse really listen to you, um, it's a lot about the body. I know it sounds a little bit uh, crazy, but when I'm doing the communication with the horse, uh, have some horses that they really makes me feel just the movement of the bottom belly sometimes it depends on the horse but there are some that just the bottom belly that change a little bit that means like some horses explain me like okay when when uh, her bottom belly it's just a little bit forward that's mean she's in control when when her bottom belly just go back a little bit that means it's my time it's my job so have one horse like that that it was just the bottom belly have another one too that that horse was a lot he was running fast all the time everything was very fast he, 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 even the owner asked me she's like he, he doesn't want to slow down everything it's fast forward you know it's almost like if he have no slow down nothing and and she was a little bit aggravated by that because she's like I cannot do slow work I cannot but that I was when I connect with that horse what he really showed me it's like with him as soon as she put her shoulder a little bit more in front for him that means go fast as soon as she back up and put her shoulder on the back that means whoa I need to slow down it was just that <laughs> and so when she was try uh, training him you know school him more and everything each time her shoulder were were more in front of the saddle so that means go fast so for him that was his cue and then when she just back him up and really sit more <laughs> but it was even not because she was pretty sitting in her saddle it was just the movement of her saddle that changed the cue so your horse are very connected to, to your body so when they make um, a, a mistake or they act differently look do you look all your cue like even if it's not on the saddle it can be just your shoulder or your head or there are some horse that they said hey tell her to look up <laughs> because it's almost like when you look down all your body language go there so the the way that you look up and you move everything so it's really funny because when I'm doing the communication, you know, I'm always in the horse and I feel the rider and I really feel like, oh my God, okay, that means goes fast. And so like with that, uh, that uh, gale that she was like a shoulder to fro uh, fast forward <laughs> to go fast, I really felt like, oh, okay, no, oh. So I asked her that and she was like, yeah, that's true. That's what I'm doing. So she just changed her way a little bit, her position in the 
in the saddle and then the horse like went woof, very more calm and she was able to do her slow work with him. Another another side of that too, <laughs> uh, what I learned a lot about the horses, um, it's really like there's some horse and even I have some people that called me about that. They were like, I don't know why my horse doesn't run fast with me. But my friend goes on my horse, go do a race and is flying. And I know that he can run, but with me, he doesn't run. <laughs> I don't understand why. So I was explaining to her that, you know, all week, as soon as he tried to go a little bit fast forward, more fast, you hold him, <laughs> you, you show him to follow you to slow down, to you keep him, you never let him go. So for him, his job is not to go fast because if he will go fast, if you let, for sure you will ask him to slow down. And then with the others that just jump on the horse, go do her because she do, the other one was not training that horse. That horse was more confident and going and run because he didn't, He'd know that that girl won't hold him, stop him to run. So uh, it's really like, look what you during the week, <laughs> what you ask your horse, how you move, how they adapt to your body, how they respond to it compared to when you go uh, on a competition. And even you know, I have some uh, some others too that the uh, I did a horse. I remember uh, a morning uh, sh that girl was really like not confident in her, um, and she said, "I don't understand why my horse is he miss confident. He's not confident in himself, and he, even when we go a race, he hesitate more. But when that trainer." jump on him, that horse is so confident, he's doing his thing, and you can feel that he's confident. But that horse really adapt to that person that was riding him. So the, uh, the, the trainer that was on, on him was very confident, knew, and she, when she was going in the arena, you know, she was confident, she was pushing him, and that horse, he has no doubt. He was like, okay, I, I'm going with you, I'm going. But the owner that ride that horse, <laughs> she was more insecure, less confidence, overthinking everything. So that horse was really feeling. So even she, even if her, she really trusts her horse, she likes him, uh, she really trusts him, but she didn't trust her. But the horse, what he understand, it's not that you trust him, he feel that you don't trust yourself. So for him, it's almost like if you don't trust him because you are a team. So if you are not confident, if you are stressed, if you overthinking, sometimes the horse, they feel like you project them to, you project him to them. So that's how they feel that what you <laughs> what you want to share with them that's they share they understand more the less confident so that's when they hesitate more that's when they have different reaction so like uh, i went to the word greatest horseman and uh, what i like about it you know like the right uh, each rider over there, they do more than one event. And even if at the first event that they are doing, like at the roping, at the start, even if the horse was not perfect or they, they missed the cow with the rope, you can see at the end, all of them like, make sure that the horse <laughs> tell them like they, that they were good and you can feel that, that they were happy. but. I'm feeling, you know, like, because the horse, they don't know how much money uh, they are going to win or they, they feel the pressure. They know if it's a big game, if you make 
you let them know or whatever. There are some that they know that, oh my God, I'm ready to that big place and things like that. But if you are not happy with one event and and you don't build their confidence, I'm feeling that's when when you go to the when you go to the next one, you start with a step back. <laughs> so they were making sure that each of them, that's what I really enjoy about that show, each of them make sure that to share them how they were proud of their horse. Even if they didn't per have the best score or whatever, all of them like pet the horse like, hey, you did it, I'm proud of you. And it's a big show, it's a big game for those horses and to build their, that confidence, to be there, to be able to do all the event, that's pretty amazing. But I'm feeling, you know, even if it was not a good run, your horse really did each time, they do the best that they can with the environment, the, with what you were asking, with even like if they have pain or things like that, I'm feeling they always try to do their best. Um, if it's not, if you didn't win, uh, I'm not saying that sometimes they don't make mistakes, but keep telling them, good job. We will work on that. <laughs> we have things to work on it. And then see what you can do to help your horse to perform better. But if is it's not perfect and when you go out, you are mad or whatever, do you feel that the next time they will be happy to go back? I'm not sure. So at least when you go out of a run, let them know that they did great, even if it was not perfect, but don't to help their confidence, to help them to enjoy their, their job, <laughs> to enjoy it, let them know that you know that they did their best. And after that, go, both of you relax <laughs> and, and see and try to feel what you can change after that. But I'm, you know, I always say that I'm really not a trainer, okay? Uh, and um, I, I, don't, I don't say that you need to train more, less, or I cannot say that because I'm not a trainer. I'm just feeling what the horse, how they feels it, how they, how they have confidence. So a lot of horses that I see that they go there, they like their job, and, uh, and for them, each time they win the world <laughs> and they can be like a 5D horse, but they are so confident, they enjoy it and they want to do more. It's when really the owner like makes them feel like if they win the world, even if they didn't. So <laughs> I'm just saying I have some horses that I really know that they enjoy it because when they goes out, it's like a joy. Yes, sometimes during the week they have to work a little bit more, they, they change things, that's fine. But to keep it fun, to keep it happy with them and that they wanna go, <laughs> so to, and to build their confidence. As a animal communicator, I'm feeling you have the power to help them to build that. So the last part, can ruffles your feathers to uh, can offense you a little bit. I'm sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> I think there are some of you that needs to hear that. Um, you know, you want your horse to be the best. You want a horse, your horse, or what? Be there, be at the game, be be a 100 person. But what are you doing for that? Are you at the moment present for, with your horse? Are you working on yourself? Were you there that day? You know, sometimes when you have too much stress or you're thinking about anything else, you were not there. Do you make the effort to be the best rider for your horse? <laughs> you know, what do you need to work on you? What do you need um, to perform better? Even I have some horses that 
they show me that the the rider has pain and they got mad because you ride differently so do you need to go to the Cairo maybe go to the Cairo fix yourself <laughs> and and your horse because they adapt to you they are there so if you have a pain in your knee in your back and you are more stiff and you don't ride like usually maybe start with yourself and when it goes not when when you go to a competition and it didn't go well instead of just looking at your horse maybe start with you start to do the process and on yourself so start when you arrive did you just win pay your entry fees and do everything and talk with people and just throw the saddle and then when going back and then come back and you were not there you were on the phone you were talking uh, how were you prepared were you in your zone or you were on other zone were you looking at everyone and not thinking about your business so just go back and look to yourself first what do you need to change you a lot of people really try all the time to look like what do my horse what do i need to change on my horse how can i help him but what do you need to change on yourself what do you need to do to help you <laughs> so look at yourself first and even when you look at your uh, at your race at your competition yes you can look what your horse didn't go didn't do well but even when you look on video where were your hand where were you sitting uh things like that and and uh, and it's not just your body but it's really like where were you so and then you know if you do that work and then you work on your confidence and you will be confident for your horse you will feel that oh my god i did everything and that then you will be the rider confident to share it to your horse <laughs> so you will be the confident rider that will give that horse is confident that will help that horse to be confident but you need to start with you and you need to see what you need to be more confident what you need to to work on to feel more prepare to and and if you feel proper if you feel that you did everything and everything it's it's there you will go to the race and you will like be probably first of all more relax more confident you will enjoy the moment you will be happy to be with your horse because you work on you so that makes a huge difference um i even have a horse <laughs> and more than one but i even have a horse that that horse he was having some issue very often it was always coming back and uh, but i really know that honor very well and then it was really good and then one day she called me and she's like i don't know what went wrong but the last run it was so bad bah, bah, bah. and i was talking with her and i look at him and i was like okay wait how were you feeling yesterday what did happen during the day and she had a really bad day she was not there she she had really a bad day she has a lot of things to process and that horse that horse he loved that owner so much that he took on it and and everything fell apart and he started even it's a little bit special but sometimes that horse <laughs> uh, even can have abscess can have different things that not going well i know it sound crazy but it's each time she's not feeling good that horse was not feeling good so and and even i was having a conversation uh with a vet the other day and uh we were talking like is there possible that he was asking me that is like do you feel sometime that a owner that has a lot of horses all of them i 
have almost the same issue. And then they sell that horse to another one, and that horse, that big issue that he had, that horse, it never come back. I was like, yeah, I saw it a lot. So the horse, they add that to you. Don't forget that, okay? And, and uh, we were laughing, uh, not laughing, but we were disgusting <laughs> about it. But we were like, because there was people that we worked together um, on their horse. And, uh, and so me as an animal communicator and him as a vet. And, and we can see that there are some horses that they have almost, they have the same issue. So we were d just discussing about it, but it really makes, I think, a difference when you start working on you. And you will, you will, in the same time, if you have more than one horses, you will help them all. But it starts with you. For those who knows me too, you know, I'm always uh, asking God. <laughs> I always pray to see how can I help more the horses how can I be more like is light <laughs> and and I know that in my work I can do just one horses at the time I would love to do them all in the same time but I can and and I was praying about it and so and what I, I really felt <laughs> what I heard it was be you and I'm like okay be you I don't understand so um, and, and that week, uh, I, because I asked God, I'm like, can you send me more sign? I don't understand. <laughs> so, and, and during that week, uh, I, have, I met one person and uh, I have three other phone calls and each of them were asking me, can you, can I, can we do what, like what you are doing? And I was trying to explain that I cannot, but they were like, how, how can I connect better to my horse? How can I? So that's why I'm doing that podcast. And after that, that's why I was, I'm like, yeah, that's what my path is. It's, I feel that it's to help you, to give you tools to, to connect uh, better to your horse. <laughs> um, so that's why I decided to do that clinic if you saw it on Facebook um, uh, I, I shared that I start to do a clinic I even already already did a class and it the girls really that they came they really said that it helped them a lot um, but in that clinic I explain you a little bit deeper because I know I can talk about it like hours for hours and uh, but I, I go a little bit deeper and um, I really uh, give you tools to connect to yourself, to how to connect to your animals. So if you want to learn more <laughs> and if you would like to come uh, to that clinic, for sure right now it's only in person. So I'm in uh, Texas. So because I think that more if I can explain it to one person and she has 10 horses in the same time, <laughs> I help 10 horses. <laughs> so instead of just helping the horse, I can help one person that will have 10, 20 horses, but then she can be, she can have that connection with all those horses. So in the same time, I'm helping more. <laughs> so if you have more question, you can, uh, you can just be a me. It will be my pleasure to answer you. Thank you to listen to my podcast again. Um, and please, <laughs> I would, if, if you don't mind, uh, like, share, or comment um, my podcast or share it to your friends. So like that, maybe I can help more again. Uh, that's the tool that I'm using. And uh, you, if you share, you will help me to help more people. Cannot wait to talk to you to the next one. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Please make sure to follow, like, share, subscribe on all my social media. And don't forget to leave me a review. 
If you want to learn more about me, visit my website, ourconfidence.com, with a K, where you can also order my book. Thank mm-hmm. you.